So, um, what is procrastination? Procrastination is the act of uh, unnecessarily postponing decisions or actions. For example, a person is procrastination procrastinating uh, when they delay working on an assignment or a work until right before its deadline for no reason, even though they know that it would be better for them to start earlier. So uh, basically procrastination is when we try to delay something that we know that for example, what is procrastination in the workplace? Procrastination in the workplace is when uh, you know that you have to answer all these emails, but because of some other influencers, you are not answering until you get the right deadline. For example, you have the deadline until Friday, and in your mind, you know that you need to do this before Friday, but you let it. But what causes this? What are the causes that we try to delay as much as we can these tasks? And uh, why is this happening? One, uh, or let's say some of the influencers that as a psychologist, I have uh, decided to show for procrastination reasons, uh, mostly in the workplace, I think firstly is uh, stress and anxiety. Uh, I think it's stress and anxiety because when you try to delay things is because you may be stressed or uh, you may have anxiety and in, when this happens in terms of stress and anxiety, you don't have the desire of completing tasks or doing things. You just want to stay calm. Or uh, in some other cases, it's also the burnout. You have too many things to do and if you don't find um, time for all of them, you just start delaying them. So uh, there are these external influencers that, that also come from other and are impacted from other things that uh, makes uh, procrastination develop in terms of workplace or in terms of school or other activities that we do daily. So procrastination is caused by the same things as it is created, which are stress and anxiety. We avoid tasks because they overwhelm us in the moment. This feels good momentally. We get to do something we want instead and don't need to address any obligations. So when we decide to delay the things, uh, in that moment we feel uh, good in the moment because we just see that Maybe we are doing something else, for example, passing sometimes to drink a coffee or going for a walk. And we say, okay, I will do this tomorrow. But then tomorrow some other things happen. And when the deadline comes, we uh, are more stressed about the task that we needed to do before. Burnout. As we feel more overwhelmed with work, it is more common that we may be impacted by a burnout at work. This can be caused by a very busy work time, toxic work environment, too much working or being too busy at work or other external influencers that cause stress. Burnout can produce high levels of anxiety, stress, overwhelming and feelings of low productivity and self-esteem. So one, thinks, one thing uh, has the right to impact also in the development of other things. In this case, burnout uh, produces high levels of anxiety, of stress and low self-esteem and low productivity because you are so much overwhelmed with all of the tasks that you delayed and you don't know what to do first. Or you are very busy at work and you passed on a burnout and now you don't know what to do. And then you start procrastinating procrastination because uh, you have too many tasks that you didn't complete. <clears throat> what are some causes of procrastination? First, lack of motivation or interest in the task. If the task is not interesting or does not align with someone's values or goals, it can be hard to find the motivation to get started. 
So when we uh, have some tasks to deal with that we don't have too many interest or we are not so much interested in it, uh, this has um, influenced to us to not be so much um, motivated to complete these tasks. And we try to delay that. Second, perfectionism. If someone has high standards for their work and is afraid of making mistakes, uh, they may put off starting the task until they feel they are fully prepared or have enough time to do it perfectly. Third, uh, fear of failure. If someone is worried about not being able to complete a task successfully, they may avoid starting it in order to avoid the potential disappointment or negative consequences or failure. So this happens in people that are uh, that uh, are attached to being perfect, and uh, this also brings some fear of failure because they want to be perfect and do the tasks perfectly, they overthink it and um, it takes them too much time to complete this task. So they, they need to delay it because uh, they think that if they don't make it perfect, then they will fail. Fourth, distractions. If someone in, is easily distracted by other tasks or activities, they may find it hard to focus on the task at hand and end up procrastinating. With uh, this fourth, uh, I will give an example. For example, to people that are easily distracted, usually in the summertime, we all see people that are going to the sea or to the beaches and you get easily distracted and don't want to work. So you just delay your tasks and then boom, you have a lot of tasks to, to complete. Fifth, uh, lack of time management skills. If someone has trouble estimating how long tasks will take or has trouble prioritizing their time uh, effectively, they may put off starting tasks until it is too late. It is very important that before we start any project or, or any task, we need to organize or to do some organization and time management. Time management is very important because except of these tasks, we also have other responsibilities in life and we need to manage this time correctly, not only for the task to be delivered because it may influence our work or our studies, but also we have to think also about the other things. So in order to not be uh, fully stressed about all of the tasks, time management is one of the um, key influencers in uh, procrastination and in completing tasks. <clears throat> negative thought patterns. If someone has negative thoughts about their ability to complete the tasks or about the task itself, they uh, may procrastinate as a way of avoiding these negative thoughts. This is also a very important pattern in causes of procrastination because if you think something will go in a negative way, then you have these uh, negative vibes that go in all of the task or in all the activity. So uh, in these cases, it is uh, more a cause of to develop stress and anxiety while completing the task or any other activities in work or also in lifestyle. Here uh, in this picture, you may see an example of a people uh, procrastinating. You see the, that they have a lot of emails, they have um, work to do, but they just try because maybe in this case he's being distracted or he has tried to delay these things. And examples of procrastination. What are some of the examples? So first, our um, lack of motivation that we said. So you have, you are not feeling motivated enough and you try to postpone the tasks for uh, another time when you can feel more motivated. Poor time management that we said that time management was really important in completing all of the tasks, but also in showing you 
uh, on how to manage your whole day activity. Priorita uh, prioritization of tasks, inability to make decision quickly. Inability to make decision quickly is also an example that uh, causes uh, procrastination lately because uh, when you take too long to make a decision, this causes you to have some delays in other tasks or to have some delays on your work or in uh, your relationship also with other people. As soon as you make a decision, as soon you can have time to manage on how to complete these activities. Personal issues, external uh, and internal factors are always influential in all of the things that we do. Uh, not all the times are good for us, uh, but and this may cause and develop also problems on the way how we behave, on the way uh, how we achieve things in life and in work. Pressure during work, tiredness, mismanagement, self-efficacy, uh, and so on. Now we will talk about the types of uh, procrastination. <clears throat> First, uh, decisional procrastination. Uh, this type of uh, procrastination occurs when you have a task to complete, but you keep putting off making a decision about how to do it. So, as we said, uh, being able to take decisions in time also helps you in completing the task on time. As long as you will take the time to, uh, to make a decision or as soon as you make a decision, this will help you better uh, in completing the task less stressfully and uh, faster. Second, avoidant procrastination. This occurs when you put off tasks before you're avoiding negative emotions associated with them, such as fear of failure or feeling overwhelmed. <laughs> Indecisive procrastination. What is indecisive procrastination? Indecisive procrastination occurs when you have trouble deciding on the best course of action for a task, so you keep putting it off until you can decide. So, is also uh, on the terms of decisions. In this case, uh, is that you delay so much the decision because you overthink of the best way on how to complete this task, and this takes you a lot of time. But for every task that we have uh, in the work, on your studies, or in life, it is a deadline, and we should stick on that de deadline. Fourth, uh, chronic procrastination. This is a long-term pattern of procrastination that is difficult to change and affects many areas of your life. I must say that in chronic procrastination, is, this is something that has happened and you didn't seek for help or you did not do anything for that. You just uh, stayed with it and uh, tried to solve it without solving it. So you just go with it. And uh, as this becomes a long-term Problem, it is more difficult for you to try to manage time or having some time for yourself without being stressed or anxiety. And this causes also other problems in your work life or in other relationship with people or in life. Increased task procrastination. This is when you put off tasks that are relatively small or easy to complete, but you feel a sense of accomplishment when you finally do them. Arousal procrastination. This occurs when you put off tasks because you're seeking a rush or feeling of excitement. Passive procrastination. This is when you put off tasks because you're not motivated to do them even though you know that they need to be done. Why does procrastination happen? We also discussed this before in the previous uh, slides, but uh, this is like a more completed. So first, 
fear of failure. Some people may be afraid of failing as, at a task, so they put it off until the last minute in the hope that they will have a sudden burst of motivation or inspiration. Because some people um, try to make everything perfect and they have a fear of uh, failing <clears throat> and they don't accept failing, uh, they uh, try to make everything perfect and they try to postpone it because they think that if they leave it until the uh, last minute, then there will be like a boom or that will be good or they don't have like so much motivation for it or they put a lot of effort and then when they see that it is not perfect then they get sad and is, they are like mixed uh, behaviors. So um, firstly, while completing a task, we should understand that not everything should be 100% perfect, but at least we tried. And we should try to make it as good as we can. Second, lack of motivation. Some people may not be motivated to do a task because it does not interest them or because they do not see the value in doing it. You may be less motivated when you are asked to do a job that is not yours and you will think of yourself, why should I do this and this is not my job. So this brings like a lack of motivation to you because you don't have the interest of doing this job. And when the deadline approaches, then you feel stress for not doing this job or for not uh, being able to have completed this job because you need it to be done. Perfectionism, as we talked before, um, some people may be perfectionist and feel that they cannot start a task Uh, they cannot start a task until they have everything they need or until they feel fully prepared. This can lead to procrastination because they are waiting for the perfect moment to begin. Overhelm. Um, some people may feel overwhelmed by the size or complicity of a task and may put it off as a way of coping with, with that feeling. Time management. Uh, some people may struggle with uh, managing their time effectively, which can lead to procrastination as they try to juggle multiple tar tasks or responsibilities. As we talked before about time management and decision making, so when you do, when you take a decision to do something, it is very important that you also make a decision on time management and manage your time. Uh, efficiency so uh, you have time for all of the tasks or for all of the actions that you need to do in a day for example because if you don't have enough time or some things take a lot of your time then you will start feeling stress about it and then the procrastination will happen distractions some people may be easily distracted by other things such, such as social media or tv which can also lead to procrastination as they get uh, sidetracked. Some negative uh, impacts of procrastination. <clears throat> as we also talked before, uh, procrastination can have a number of negative impacts on an individual life, as it is a delay of the tasks that you need uh, to do uh, this can also cause you uh, problems in the relationship, in work, in school, in your achievements, because it is also related to stress and anxiety coming from all the delays that you decide for doing into this. Some of the negative impacts are decreased productivity, increased stress, poor performance, relationship problems, negative self-image, financial problems, and so on. Um, I'm going to go and read some of the things 
decreased productivity. When we procrastinate, we tend to put off tasks until the last minute, which can result in rushed, low-quality work. We all know that we, if we leave the things and we have not so much time to control it overly or if we don't uh, take the time to do the task properly, then we are not going to deliver some quality work. This can lead to decreased productivity and the lack of achievement in both personal and professional settings. Increased stress. We said that stress and anxiety is one of the key factors uh, that impacts procrastination. It can lead to feeling of overwhelming stress as deadlines approach and individuals' uh, mental and physical health. Off until the last minute, we often do not have enough time to give our best effort to task. So, as we said before, if we don't give enough time or the required time that the tasks need, then we don't uh, deliver quality job or the job that we want to deliver. Relationship problems. Procrastination can also lead to problems in relationships and uh, as others may become frustrated with our inability to follow through on tasks or commitments. Um, for this problem, we may say in um, colleague uh, relationships or in the workplace, for example, if we delay our responsibilities for the tasks or if we don't complete these tasks this brings like a frustration from the other person because when you you are working in group you all have your responsibilities and this responsibilities needs to be accomplished negative self-image as um, it brings like low productivity and low self self-esteem, it also brings the negative self-image of yourself. You may feel uh, feelings of guilt, shame, self-doubt. For example, why didn't I do this? Or why didn't I complete this? Or if I have started before, I could do this and so on. And also one of the most important things is financial problems. Procrastination can also have uh, financial consequences and and it can lead to missed deadlines and opportunities which can result in lost income and missed promotions as we all know in the workplace if we don't uh, stick to deadlines and if we don't complete tasks as required this can lead to our to our performance and then to promotions and in the most worst case in being fired from our work. Here are some uh, strategies on how we can cope with procrastination or how we can uh, help it to stop. One, <clears throat> set specific achievable goals for yourself. So um, the first one is being uh, taking the decision and on this decision, as I said, to set some goals on how to achieve and um, how to manage the time for these tasks and so on. Breaking down large tasks into smaller, more manageable goals can make them feel more attainable and help you stay motivated. Second, uh, create a schedule and stick to it. Having a clear plan for your day can help you prioritize tasks and stay on track. Workplace is, is difficult, uh, work life is difficult, and in the meantime, we also have some other life responsibilities that we need to do. So in this case, I would uh, recommend to have a schedule or have a daily journal or weekly journal. In this way, you will know uh, more about what tasks are more important in completing that day and uh, how much time this will take and you may also write some quotes of motivation that will help you stay more motivated and also keep track of what you did or what you did not 
and when you need to complete this task that you did not complete. Remove distractions. This is very important in terms that when you have a big project coming up or when you have a meeting or an important meeting, you need about yourself because this is a very bad idea. We as people, uh, because we are busy and uh, our routine uh, makes us more easy to be distracted about other people that are not doing the same things as us. So, if you find it difficult to focus on your work, try to minimize distractions by turning off your phone, find a quiet place to work, or using tools to block distraction websites. Also, one of the things that may help is the Pomodoro technique. But what is the Pomodoro technique? This method involves working for a set amount of time, usually 25 minutes, and then taking a short break, usually five minutes. And then this is like a repeated process. Why does this technique help? Because you are doing the tasks, and of course, when we are completing something, we are feeling stressed. But in the meantime, we take like uh, one of 10 uh, or 10 percent of this time that we work to spend on ourselves. So we are like balancing all the things to not feel like, oh, I'm being distracted about other things. But we are taking some time to relax and then to start working again. Also, it says that these techniques can help you stay focused and avoid burnout because when you are working all the time, it is you are more easily to be on a burnout because you are just working and being stressed about everything that um, that is related to this task and and so on. Five, use a planner or a to-do list. As we said, uh, a journal also may help you. Writing down your tasks and deadlines can help you stay organized and prioritize your work. Six, find accountability. Having someone to hold you accountable for your goals, uh, whether it's a friend, a mentor, or a coach, can help you stay on track and motivated. If you have uh, done all these techniques and all these strategies and you still find it very difficult on completing tasks or uh, don't, uh, you aren't so much motivated and focused, then uh, one of the best things is to hire an accountability coach. An accountability coach can help you stay accountable, focused and motivated on completing all the tasks. And also it's like a reminder every day to remind you that you need to complete these tasks because it is important and for today. This will also bring like less stress and less anxiety and completion of tasks daily. Seven, take enough sleep. It is very important that we work, but it's so important also to rest because this should have like a balance between each other. So we have like a less stressful uh, lifestyle. Eight, take breaks and engage in activities you enjoy. It's important to give yourself time to relax and recharge as this can help you be more productive when you return to your work. Nine. Seek support. If you're struggling with procrastination and it's impacting your work or daily life, consider seeking the support of a mental health professional. They can help you identify the root causes of your procrastination and develop strategies to overcome it. As I said, in the terms of an accountability coach, when you have all of other uh, techniques used and you still don't see an improvement, then it's time to seek help and support from a professional as uh, this is very difficult for you and you need to have some support from another one uh, to help you overcome this process. This is an overview slide and we are going to uh, see some of the most important things related to procrastination. So procrastination can be a significant problem for some people, particularly if it is having a negative impact on their life and causing them stress and anxiety. 
Procrastination can lead to feelings of guilt, low self-esteem, and difficulty completing tasks or meeting deadlines. It can also negatively affect relationships, work, and school performance. Procrastination is often a result of difficulty managing time, setting goals, or dealing with negative emotions such as fear of anxiety. If you are struggling with procrastination, it may be helpful to try to identify the underlying causes and address them directly to a professional or to a coach or to a friend or to your manager in, in the workplace. Setting deadlines using a timer or funding an accountability partner can help you solve the problems with procrastination. And last, uh, procrastination may happen to everybody. The important thing is to understand and take the right steps to face the challenges until it's too late and too difficult to face it. Thank you so much for uh, joining me and hearing uh, in this open lecture. So uh, now we have the section of the questions and answers. So please, if you have any question, go on. Thank, Thank you, you very much, uh, Silvana Michi. Uh, you've done a truly superb job of uh, telling our uh, audience about uh, the constant issue of procrastination. People, like I said at the very beginning, tend to procrastinate. And this is something that is uh, everywhere. Uh, every walk of life, every line of work, virtually everywhere, people procrastinate about their obligations. Uh, we have several hands up and uh, we're gonna uh, start with uh, Oba Daye, Olan, Olan Riyadju, Oba Daye, uh, we are ready for your question. All right, thank you so much. Good afternoon, good day. This is uh, afternoon in Lagos, Nigeria. Welcome. Welcome. Yes. Yes. I, I really salute your presentation. You may so, remove the presentation at this time, if you don't mind, uh, Silvana Michi, so that we can see the faces of everybody in uh, mosaic. Mm -hmm. It's okay. all right. Okay. All right. Uh, is it okay now? Did I yes. remove? Okay. Yes, yes, okay. thank you. Okay, yes. Okay, thank you so much. So I have um, one comment and then two questions. Mm -hmm. hmm. Uh, the comment, a beautiful one, is that um, I like the overview slides, particularly for some of our students that some of the time, maybe due to network issues or whatever, we, we come up late in the presentation. That helps us to know what and what the presenter has done ahead before we join. So I particularly salute that and I appreciate that. I want to recommend that. Uh, uh, presenters should always have maybe the overview slide, maybe before the conclusion or something. That would go a long way in helping latecomers, like some of us, to come up and understand the presentation. Now, that being said, I have two questions. Okay. Procrastination, yes. can that can you use that interchangeably with postpone or postponement? And if not, what are the differences between procrastination and post postponement? You know, that's one. Then two, in a situation where you, for example, you want to finish up your course in the university like AIU, and then you are encountering challenges of instability in uh, exchange rate in your country, like Nigeria. A lot of us are finding it tough to do some of our payments because of the incessant increase in exchange rate. Uh, and you, you're thinking of maybe procrastinate or postpone your program or defer your program. And uh, that thought is running to your mind. Can you shed light on that? And uh, for the doctor, how can you also help us in uh, situations like this? Thank you. Um, okay, so the first, 
one. Uh, it was what is the difference between between the postpone and the procrastination? Yes. Right. Okay. Um, so uh, procrastination is when you uh, choose to uh, delay the tasks because um, of a moment when you are feeling like less motivated or um, you are feeling stressed or you are being distracted about something. The postpone is when you decide to postpone because when you postpone something, you have like the reason. You have stick to a reason. But in procrastination is like, you know that you need to do this, uh, but you are uh, delaying it for some reasons of behavior, like feeling stress or feeling distracted or feeling less motivated. There are some sim similarities and just a little bit of uh, differentiation. We may say that they okay. are like very similar, but is, is this uh, small? So um, for the, your second question, Lisa, can you repeat again in when you are completing a course, but because of yes. other things uh, you need to postpone, you mean? And there are factors, yes. Mm -hmm. Factors like increase in exchange rates for you to get the dollar in Nigeria is tough. The, the, I know some of our students in Nigeria uh, will bear me witness with this. You, a situation where the dollar has just been, you know, the IIN window has been moved and then you're buying it at close to 900 Naira, uh, over 800 uh, Naira per dollar and all of that. And then you're thinking of postpone or, I mean, defer as a result of, you know, not being able to meet up with your payments. And then how can AIU also help for some of our students in Nigeria that fall in this category? Um, okay, so procrastination happens mostly in terms of tasks. For example, when you have like small tasks to complete, for example, when you have um, an exam that you need to work on or you have uh, given a task at work. In these terms, uh, this is a postponement because of an external uh, serious situation, which are uh, financial uh, issues, because you know that you may not have this uh, money in this case, and you need to postpone your studies or you need to freeze the studies. Of course, this will bring you then uh, feelings of stress and anxiety because maybe you were having other expectations about yes uh, your studies and of course this will um, bring some in terms of stress and some uh, other uh, feelings of i don't know not being able to complete this course until this uh, year so uh, in this case um it's better to talk with the school or to see how it will go uh, so to find a solution or on how you can manage this before you give like a final decision but okay. thank you uh, yes but if you try to postpone it like not taking a decision because also uh, taking a decision on okay i will find a solution about this about this is a decision and is a task that you need to complete because the task is finding a solution about this problem. Thank you very much uh, for your response, uh, Miss uh, Silvana. Thank you for your question, Emmanuel. Uh, let's uh, make room now for Asterio Tidinoa. Asterio, go ahead, please. Yeah, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah, I, I have a, thank you Anna, for the word. I have a simple question. Uh, my question is about the laziness, the difference between procrastination and laziness. Um, the difference between procrastination and laziness. Uh, in some terms, we can say that also uh, laziness uh, can be like a factor in affecting procrastination in some terms. But procrastination is uh, not always related because 
you are not feeling uh, you're feeling lazy or you don't want to do the job you may postpone it because you have other tasks that are also delayed and they have like a quicker deadline to accomplish all right uh, abdul rahman are you ready yes Thank you very much. Uh, I want to thank the presenter for this wonderful presentation. It's really very interesting and educating. So um, I think procrastination is the thief of time. Procrastination. And also, what are you, we are talking about the factors or the causes. And I see that even procrastination can also be caused by uh, high confidence in oneself. For example, you are given a task to prepare concept notes and to be submitted at the close of business today. And you are say, you think this is a simple task, maybe which I can do between one and two hours. And when you get to the work and you realize that you can complete that work within one and two hours. So I, I, th I believe, or I think uh, procrastination also can be caused by high self-confidence. But I don't know what whether that's what we are referring to when you talk about self-efficacy. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, so um, you were asking uh, if also high uh, confidence can cause procrastination? That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes, this is uh, something related to, as we said also in the causes, a fear of failure and also perfectionism. Uh, and also in these terms, uh, high confidence uh, people may think that, as you said, may accomplish these things um, very easily. And they see, uh, that's why you need to uh, settle down and to see uh, how much time this will take because it may seem like a simple task and you think oh this is a simple task and I will complete it but if you don't analyze it and if you don't give the time and you don't manage this time correctly and leave it for uh, the last minute you cannot deliver quality job as I said before because even when it is a simple task, you need to control it in order to see if it is a quality job or it's not a quality job. So yes, also I think that uh, high confidence and uh, as also, as I said in the presentation, perfectionism can bring pro uh, procrastination issues in the, uh, not only in the workplace, but also in the lifestyle. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, there are indeed uh, multiple reasons that can lead to procrastination, whether uh, the decision to uh, postpone very important decisions, uh, our uh, positioning, whether above or below the task, when we feel either self-confident, too self-confident, or afraid of the task, those are some other issues that can come up and uh, yes. that uh, you decide, well, I'm not going to do it now. Uh, let me think. Uh, let me try in two days from now. Those are elements or mm -hmm. factors of procrastination. Let's go to uh, our yes. next uh, attendee with a hand up, uh, Warren Barlow. Uh, what do you have to say, Warren? Well, good morning, Dr. Valsin and the presenter and all my colleagues. Um, I'm, from Guyana. I'm from Guyana, actually, and uh, I'm sitting in front of my desk. And this presentation is so interesting today. I mean, I've benefited so much. And I can feel it from my colleagues there that this is a problem that we all face. I'm a manager, and managing time has always present an issue for us. And yes. everything that came out in the discussion, I mean, Dr. Valtin just mentioned it, about um, how we, we treat, you know, um, look at projects. Sometimes we do not assess them effectively before we, you know, we make a decision on how to approach these projects. And therefore, this is a, this is a problem that all of us face. What I'm, what, what I'm thinking, though, um, 
there is uh, I've actually looked at um, or read that this issue of procrastination also links to mental health. And um, I know counseling, probably counseling would be a very good, um, good initiative also, a good intervention also. But in your studies, is there any way come across anything like um, medical treatment for this? I know I'm, I'm just stretching it a little bit. But you know, we are, we are scientists, sometimes we need to look beyond. And is anything you come across that people may have taken any medical treatment to, to deal with this issue? Even though it's not, but I just wanna know. Um, I don't know about, uh, welcome first and thank you for your question. Um, I don't know about any uh, medical uh, things. There are a lot of uh, influencers and a lot of uh, factors that influence in the development of procrastination. Mm. Me, uh, especially as a counseling psychologist, uh, I mostly use the methods of support, uh, like mental health support and also accountability coach. I help my clients when they uh, procrastinate or when they have problems with time management, especially in the workplace. I help them and I suggest them firstly to try to keep a time management and keep a journal or a to-do list so they know how the tasks are um, should complete or should be done. As a professional myself, uh, I don't support the idea of taking uh, medications about, uh, so the first thing that you do when you have some um, stress or some anxiety, uh, because these are things that happen all the time, don't happen only in the workplace, but happen in life. We have uh, personal issues, we have uh, professional issues and different things. So these are things that will happen all the time. So as a professional myself, and uh, as a psychologist, I highly recommend my clients to first decide on uh, taking the strategies or techniques that are non-medical. For example, uh, if you have a burnout at work, you go to your manager and tell them, I cannot because I'm on burnout and I don't know what to do. I need some rest. I need the report for five days. And then I will start making go making yoga or go to the psychologist go to the uh, therapist uh, go somewhere when you seek help and then if this problem is so serious that even the professional cannot do anything then you go to take some medical things or uh, um, medications or other things so firstly, I think that there are a lot of other techniques because also these medications have other um, may cause other issues or may uh, be addictive to them and stuff like this that uh, that will go on. Thank you very much. Uh, the question is upcoming now from <laughs> Olu Kunle or Kunoye. Uh, Olu Kunle. What is your question, please? Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, the uh, uh, speaker and doctor, uh, for the insight on the presentation. I am a new student, and I'm uh, listening to you from Nigeria. Yeah, it is the afternoon. From uh, the presentation, are we uh, trying to say that the underlying factors behind procrastination? are actually negative why the reasons behind postponement are positive uh, like uh, like the presenter said uh, she said the two ways can be uh, used interchangeably uh, probably a kind of uh, link between the two words so now when people procrastinate normally we we, we believe we see it like uh, there are negative underlying reasons for we uh, we, we we view it that way. I'm not sure whether we are we are right. We we think there are negative reasons for them procrastinating. But when they postpone, we have a way of saying okay, probably they have genuine reasons or the justified reasons for postponement. So uh, looking at these two things, can somebody at place of work or in his or her life? do away or avoid procrastination? That's exactly my question. Um, uh, 
welcome and thank you for your uh, question. So your question is, <coughs> can somebody avoid uh, procrastination? Yes, in life, generally. Mm -hmm. In life. Um, so uh, there are uh, a lot, as I said, there are a lot of uh, factors uh, that uh, influence in the development of procrastination. In uh, these terms and in this question, if somebody can avoid procrastination, if uh, they, they have like a balance between work life and lifestyle and time management and managing all of the tasks differently. So it's like it's only on the decision making and on the time management, I, I think. So if you try to to be a directly a decision making and uh, have a to-do list and uh, give time to the to your time management, uh, you may avoid uh, procrastination. I met Sheriff. We don't have too much time left, but uh, let's see if we can accommodate some more questions. Uh, the next opportunity being now given to Ahmed Sheriff. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, my question is to the professional. I want to bring in a scenario like if you happen to get a client that want to be entrepreneur and has the business ideas, has a business plan, everything, but he don't have the starting capital. How can we relate this to procrastination or which kind of advice you can give to that person to bring himself to his own vision and to elevate him from that point he is and to a better point. Um, okay, welcome, Ahmad, and thank you for your question. So as I understood, you said that uh, when an individual has all of the plans and the business but doesn't have the capital and he needs yeah. to postpone this business idea, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How can, if he happens to meet you as a professional psychologist, this, if he presents his case to you like this, what would be the way forward, the advice you give him that he can have a better change in life and avoid procrastination? Okay, so in these terms, um, I would say that first he needs to decide how much motivated uh, he is for this business idea that he has in every terms uh, so he needs to decide if he's motivated enough and then he needs to manage uh, and uh, find solutions on how he can find this missing factor that he has in these terms the capital yeah so we are going to work on such a this but firstly is the motivation because if you are motivated enough then you will find the solution. So procrastination is uh, when uh, is not in this case uh, because in this case he may feel postponed like I don't have the capital and I will just stay. But if you stay, then your business idea will not bring uh, will not be bring to life because you are not trying enough to bring solutions into this case. So it's also related to how much motivated you are on accomplishing something. So as a professional, I would firstly ask these questions about the motivation and how much uh, uh, decision you have into your life to accomplish this task. So how much you really want this. It's like when applying to a job or when completing a project or an important meeting. Thank you. Let's give a chance to uh, the women out there. Uh, the first one will be Jetrude uh, Shimfwembe. Uh, Jetrude, do you have a question for Miss Sylvania? Yes, Doc. Good. Good evening from here. Good evening. Actually, it's not a, a question. First, let me apologize for entering the class late because of pressure from work. The only thing I'm asking is if she can share the presentation in the chat, that will help because I missed the first 15 minutes. 
All right. Sorry. Okay. Please. Is that something that you can accommodate before we uh, put an end to this session, Miss uh, Silvana? I've seen that question on the chat line as to whether it is possible for students to have a link to your PowerPoint uh, or PDF presentation. Um, uh, I think, uh, yes, I will share also so they can have the presentation. Wonderful. Uh, Janet Mwinhead, uh, as uh, we waiting for the link uh, from Ms. Silvana Michi, uh, go ahead, uh, Janet. Okay, good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for that presentation. It was an awesome presentation. My question is a very simple one, really. It is, um, in your research and in your experience, right, what are some of the reasons you, will, you have come across where persons are experiencing procrastination but refuse to get help? What are some of the reasons would have caused them not to, to, to get the help? That's my question. Um, okay, uh, welcome and thank you for uh, your question. So uh, some of the reasons that um, may um, lead them to not seek help, uh, especially in the workplace, may be feelings of um, being fired in the most worst case or of self-guilt or not accomplishing this task or uh, fears of failure because uh, to go to the manager and tell them I cannot complete this task or feel feelings that um, of lack of communication or other things. So these are uh, other, other um, things that need to be discussed because also in the workplace, there is not always uh, such a healthy environment, let's say. And uh, people uh, should be uh, easy or should find it easy to go and tell their manager on the, or their boss that I am not going to make this task because I can't in reasons of burnout, for example, because they have too much work to do or um, they are feeling stressed or they have some personal issues. So in this case, uh, you need to, to go and tell them that I, I cannot complete this because of these reasons. But of course, you need to have like a very good and strong reason for, for letting them know that you cannot complete this. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Silvana. Uh, we know we have cheated you out of several minutes already. Uh, we were no, supposed okay. to end that uh, about six minutes ago. So uh, before we continue, uh, let me ask you how many more questions are you willing to answer before we uh, wrap up this uh, live class event? How many more questions will you take? Because I have several hands up. Um, we can go on also in some other questions. It's okay. Okay. All right. So uh, let's go now to uh, uh, Elmam Bado. Uh, I know you've been waiting for a little while, so let's give you this opportunity at this moment. Okay, thank you very much, Silvana. And uh, I'm calling from Burkina Faso. So my question is, are there any advantages known to procrastination. For, for example, is it good to consider that procrastination can help us make better decisions, for example? Yeah. This is my question. Um, welcome and uh, thank you for your uh, question. Uh, it's a very interesting one. Um, actually, in the slide, uh, and we talked about the negative impacts but um, if procrastination may have uh, a positive effect, if we take from uh, one side of view, for example, if it happens once uh, and 
it's just a moment and you realize the consequences of delaying your task. And then uh, in, the, in the second thought, in another task or in another activity that you try to delay this, or you are not managing your time efficiency, they, you may think of your previous um, behavior on procrastination. And this has like a positive effect because you won't do this again. Because you have learned of the consequences that they have, for example. Uh, Cyprian, what is what Zinze Cyprian? Uh, are you ready for a quick question for our presenter, please? No, Cyprian is gone, apparently. Uh, let's move to uh, Janet uh, Stewart. Janet? Oh, I am so sorry, Doc. I had asked my question already. I should have taken oh, my hand off. I'm Thank so you. Sorry. Thank I you. I apologize myself Thank too. <laughs> Moazam. Moazam. That is uh, the turn reserved to you. Moazam. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Silvana. Thank you for a nice presentation. And this topic really appeals me because uh, most of us, we face those challenges of procrastination, especially for a particular task. So I don't know, I have two small things which is confusing me. Like uh, you told this, uh, one reason is perfection. And in my case, it also disturbed me. When I want to fulfill something, some task, something, some assignment project, so I want perfection. So how I can deal with this perfection first? And second, you told that uh, if we remove distraction, so we can uh, we can cope up with this problem. So, and you told there are tools to block which uh, to block the distraction. So, which tool? The tool they are in website when you are dealing or working on your computer, or there are some other tools. So, please tell me about this uh, this uh, perfection and what are those tools? Thank you very much. Okay, um, welcome and thank you for your question. Um, so, um, firstly, uh, how to avoid perfection? Um, we as human beings, of course, and also when we want, uh, when we need to complete a task, we want to do it uh, in a perfect way or to deliver high quality work uh, in terms of in the workplace, because we know that what comes next as a reward or something big. So that's why this causes us, or promotion, this causes us to deliver like a perfect um, work or high quality work. This pushes us to be perfect. But we need to understand that not in all of the cases we need to be perfect. And if you uh, don't deliver once a perfect job, this is okay because not all of the times are 100% uh, times. In terms of perfection, I would say that there are also some external other uh, factors uh, coming from family or coming from character. So this is uh, something that if you have uh, problems with uh, perfection, you also need to talk to uh, a professional and it can also uh, explain to you more. Uh, in second question on blocking distractions, in summer times, uh, as I also told an example, you may be easily distracted from social media as you are working and you see all of the other people that are going on vacations, they are going into beach, and this brings you like uh, feelings of sadness on why you are working and why you are being stressed to work and some others are on vacation and you should also be on vacation. Those, so this brings you uh, some thoughts of staying more into social media and relaxing rather than uh, working because also other people are on vacation. So what I will suggest uh, into this is 
not blocking all of the time uh, distractions like um, going out for a coffee or uh, delaying things uh, because you need to be on vacation or because you don't have an interest, but uh, finding some balance to work and also uh, have some rest of your life, like the Pomodoro uh, technique that we previously discussed on the slides. Because when you take... find like a balance, you are uh, more motivated and you are less distracted to these external factors. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take two more questions. Uh, we've run out of time. Uh, we apologize to those who have uh, raised their hands a little uh, tardily, so to speak. But we're going to take two more questions. Please, uh, let's make it quick. Uh, first, from Agnes, and then we will go for the last question to Mark Chris Darcy. Uh, beginning with Agnes Nabisubi, uh, if you have a question, uh, help us hear that question, please. Agnes uh, Nabisubi. No, not available. So the last question will be from uh, Marquis Darcy Masala. Uh, go ahead, uh, Marquis. Would you please turn your microphone on for your question, uh, Masala uh, Darcy? No, we seem to have an issue at that end. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you've been awesome. I mean, our presenter has been overwhelmed with questions uh, just because uh, her presentation has proved to be uh, phenomenal, outstanding, exceptional. Uh, we want to thank you very much, uh, Silvana uh, Michi, for this so a uh, world-class, top-notch uh, class at Atlantic International University. And I want to anticipate uh, you will respond uh, readily. You will be present uh, the next time you are invited to be with us. To each and every one of you, the uh, beloved participants, I want to say thank you. The concluding remark with you right now, Silvana Michi, please. The last words. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you so much for uh, participating in this open uh, lecture. And thank you so much for hearing me and for all of your good words. Uh, I'm very sorry that the time passed it, uh, so fast and I was not able yes. to ask all of, uh, to answer all of the questions that you have. I mm -hmm. hope that with my presentation, I have um, had some light on procrastination and how you may help if you are managers or if you are individuals or professionals on how you can help people that are procrastination or uh, when you understand your colleagues or friends or family. And uh, I hope that my presentation can help you in the future in this topic. Uh, once again, thank you so, so much for hearing me and for participating. Um, in this open lecture. It is a pleasure and uh, I hope we also meet on other uh, open lectures. Thank you very much, uh, Silvana. It's been a real outstanding presentation. We all have been blessed. Yeah. Uh, international the slides. It's been a real pleasure. The, present, uh, the presentation, uh, please. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for the presentation. Thank you. Thank you.